Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Zanse 5. My name is Mokuze Labo, and today is a very, very special uh, edition uh, of this episode because we are taking it back to the streets. Forward is forearmed. This one, this one is gonna scare away the gillies, man. Because listen, we've done these, we've done these mainstream topics, man. We've done Michael Mags, you know, we've, we've we've talked about things to look out for in 2004. But on this one, man, we're taking it back to the streets. This one is for the hip hop hairs. This one is for the lyrical miracle super in your swimming pool lovers. All right, that's where we're taking. We're talking battle rap today, man. And one of the biggest battles. I can remember probably since T Gons and and uh, who was it? Was it Junior Brown? Uh, I think that's the last time we really had a battle that was that was this hyped, man. I, I think since Noble Styles and Jeezy, man. I think, yeah, I have to take it way way back for me to really think of a time that a battle was this hyped. And this time, it's not just you know records, Monombo in the studio, and then they record and then they come back. No, no, no. It's not like that. This time, it's face to face three rounds at three minutes each and it's going down i'm talking about the battle of the north baby don joey versus ray cas happening on the 27th uh of january 2024 it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy man i can't i can't wait for it i can't wait for it and i just wanted to talk about that man just to put uh, more perspective i guess you know just to try to keep it short try to at least put you into perspective on uh if you don't know these guys if you don't know what the big deal is and stuff like that but basically uh, i think as malcolm of they said like these guys are the lyrical miracle lyrical rap duo uh of you know hilarious confidence you know i have to quote him that because that was that was incredible and that's it that's it these are two guys that love rapping these are two guys that love hip-hop they follow everything all right i'm talking from mainstream to pop rap to battle rap every single thing every single facet that you call hip-hop these two guys follow and i've heard uh both of them rap i've heard them in cyphers um and i've heard them on songs i've heard them on features it's been you know it's just been incredible they've both they've both got bodies of work that are amazing and i think it's a good enough reason for us to be excited for this battle because it also feels like i think the first battle i can say where both are lyrically meshed or at least to a point where you can say it's not lopsided right like with other battles like you can tell other people's strengths you know uh, compared to the other like with jeezy and nobu nobu is more lyrical than than jeezy is um because well Jeezy tends to make a little bit more palatable music compared to, to, to normal. So there's always a, a styles clash. And styles clashes always work, but not all the time. But sometimes when you have this kind of synergy, like you have with Don Jovi and, and Ray Kaz, it's it's much more, it makes for a much more enticing uh, battle. Now, the big story is, you know, as always on battles, people are going to ask, who do you think is going to win? Honestly, dude. I do not know because let me tell you what's happening here. Now they both have two different styles and different strengths. You know, Ray Kaz with lyricism, he likes schemes, he's very aggressive as well. A lot of homophones in his rapping, and then Dawn has got a lot of punchlines. Uh, his flow is incredible. Um, has a very unorthodox style as well uh, when he raps. So there's a very big difference, um, you know, in 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 their approaches, but they are. You can say they're evenly matched. In this case, honestly, I would say uh, Dawn moves into this battle as the favorite. Why? Because of his repertoire, because of uh, his catalog, because of uh, how tested he is on the battlefield. Now, make no mistake, Ray Kaz is not a slouch, right? Like, uh, you know, I'm a big fan. Uh, it's well documented. But Dawn has the experience, right? Like over 12 battles um, in South Africa, only one loss in that one. Battled eight MCs in Zimbabwe, no loss whatsoever. Um, you know, he won uh, the, he's won tournaments uh, in Zimbabwe, he's won tournaments in South Africa. He's been a finalist in two of them as well. So this is not a slouch. This is someone who knows what he's doing and he knows what he's talking about. So the skill is definitely there. With Rakers, I think for most people that are betting on him is because of his catalog on ciphers on feature verses um as well on 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 the songs that he he has released under his name so it's more like you are betting on someone that you know has the potential to win so 
it's fair game anyway you have someone who's experienced uh in the battlefield with wins uh and then you have someone who is probably a generational arguably a generational talent but hasn't been tested in the battlefield so you know you don't know what you're gonna get you know because it could be a battle where uh the guy that you're favoring goes and then he chokes and then he stumbles and then that becomes a whole different battle and it makes for a bad battle i hate stumbles i hate stumbling. in fact i hate choking because if you choke uh, during a battle and i know it's hard to memorize nine minutes of material um but you know you have time so do that and make sure you don't choke because if you choke to me you've kind of lost right like we can excuse stumbles but if you choke you've lost um so that's why i'm looking forward to this battle uh so so much because man it's it's it sets a precedent as well to um how people can receive lyrical rap uh in in the culture you know so it will be exciting uh, to see like a new new audiences that haven't been interested in battle rap coming to it and getting excited for this particular battle as i uh, am and I, I'm, I'm 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 looking forward to it and i hope this one is not the, i hope this one is not the last i hope this one is not the last i hope there's more i want to see expos as well because i feel like expos is probably one of the most prolific battle rappers that we have uh in the country and i don't think he's ever taken a loss i mean to be fair he also battles a lot of scrubs so like <laughs> most most of the guys that he tends to to, to to battle and beat are dudes who cannot finish 10 sentences right five sentences uh uh, they cannot string them together so not to say those wins are invalid no 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 that's not what i'm saying uh, i am saying i would love to see him battle against people that are battle tested i want to see him battle against dawn i want to see him battle against asap i want to see him on that stage with people who understand the culture especially people who understand uh battle rap so i'm really looking forward to this one man uh, there's been a lot of back and forth between both rappers a lot of banter as well uh, in between so there's good reason for you to be excited so make sure you get there uh um, if you have time uh go to motor republic uh on this saturday and it's going to be a blast man it's going to be a blast the culture is going to be there and vibrant so shout out to noble styles as well for putting this together for the culture with that being said i'm just going to leave it there man i'm just going to leave it there i've been with this is Visa five